102.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. You go out on what you think is a great first date and then never hear from that person again. We'll call them for you to find out why they haven't gotten back to you. Today we have Tommy from Port Orchard on the phone. Tommy? Hey, how are you, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, who do you want us to get a hold of today? Um, so I went on I went on a date with this girl, and um, we she wanted I met her on a dating website. Mm. Okay. And um, she wanted to do like an activity, not like to go out to dinner or something. Let me ask you this: Was it a free dating site or one you pay for? Because that makes a big difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a, it, 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 it's a free trial. Eventually, you would pay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So makes... either either way, she wanted to go do an activity. It's your trial, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, and what happened? Um. So we. Um. I. My idea is miniature golf. Right. Uh huh. Had a really good time there, and then afterwards, I asked her. I was like, "Hey, you want to come back to my place?" And she said, "Yeah." And um, so I was like, oh, she's having fun too. And um, and we go back to my place, and then, like, literally, she's there for like 10 or 15 minutes, and she gets all awkward and weird and, like, makes up an excuse and gets her out. Like, something switched, like, something happened, you know? What was her excuse, Tommy? Like, all of a sudden, she had, like, work super early in the morning or something. It's weird, like, you're not the first person that we've talked to that had this happen to them. In my dating experience, this has never happened where someone just kind of randomly left. Maybe I'm better at dating than I thought I was. No, you just get them uh, so drunk that they can't drive home. That's probably the key. <laughs> Do you have um, anything weird in your apartment? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you have no idea why she could have just kind of gotten weird and left? Yeah, I mean, literally, we got back and, like, we barely even hung out. There wasn't even time for me to screw anything up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, have you tried to contact her? I have. And she's, she's not answer, she doesn't answer my calls. She won't answer my texts. And now I'm like, I've completely moved on. I don't even care. I just want to <laughs> like, I just want to know why okay. she, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, you just want an answer. Um, cool. Mm. Okay. We're going to call her right after this. All right. Cool. Turn the lights on. Moving oh! 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. All right, Tommy went out on a date with a girl. They went back to his place. She was there for a matter of minutes before getting awkward and leaving. He hasn't been able to get a hold of her since. We're going to give her a call now to find out why. Tommy, wh- what's her name anyway? I never got that from you. Uh, Amy. Okay, all right. We're going to give Amy a call right now to see why she hasn't gotten back to you. And Tommy, will you remind me, how long ago was the date? Um, about two weeks ago. Okay. Okay. So it's been a while. What are the well, hang hang on, Tommy. Definitely. We're dialing right now. Hang on. Hello? Hi, is Amy there? This is Amy. Amy, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning on Moving 92.5. Who is it? Jubal from Moving 92.5, the radio station. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, um, <laughs> you went out on a date a little while ago with a guy named Tommy. Uh, yes, I did. And he emailed us <laughs> wanting to know why you haven't gotten back to him. He said you went back to his place and then you got kind of awkward and just split. Uh, well, that's true. Can you tell us why? <laughs> uh uh, wow, I really wish he wouldn't have done this because it's not like, um, well, here's how the... can I put this, like, <laughs> I think we're just into different things. That's he... probably the You're into different things. Did you see something in his apartment that made you think that he's, like, weird or something? Um, actually, that's exactly what happened. I mean, the date itself was really good. He's a, he's, you know, he's a really nice guy and. Um, we definitely, you know... Amy, get to what you, know. you saw in the apartment. It's killing uh, me. Sorry, well, uh, I, just, I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like he's an all-around bad guy, but when, when we ended up going back to his apartment, um, I, you know, he was in the bathroom brushing his teeth, which I was like, okay, so that means we're going to be making out. I was mm-hmm. ready for that. All right. I was just kind of looking through his, his movie. I'm laughing just because he's going to be really embarrassed uh, when I say this, but he had, like... All of his porn, just like oh. out with all of his regular movies. 
<laughs> That's so awesome. So it's nice. like Patty Shack, and then right next to it is like Position Impossible. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? Yes. And I remember, I was like, maybe I saw that wrong, and I was like, no. Hey, Amy, hang on one second. Tommy, you don't hide your adult movies. Oh, he's on the he's on the phone. Yes. <laughs> They were hidden with it, with all the other DVDs. <laughs> Amy, yeah, Tommy is on the phone. Um, Tommy, how do you oh my. say hi to Tommy <laughs> again since you haven't talked to him? Oh, my. <laughs> hi, Tommy. Listen, I, um... I'm so sorry that I didn't put those away. But that, I mean, it is just so, no, I mean, normal within a guy's <laughs> apartment, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not... Yeah, Whatever like, you do, like, in your home is your own thing, but it was, like, that's, like, not a first date kind of. Yeah. yeah. Tommy, Tommy I, I normally don't like to display my porn like a coffee table book, you know? <laughs> I like to put it away, especially if I know that I've got a date that oh. might be coming over. I, yeah. I know. I, 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 I apologize. I did not have the forethought to... to <laughs> hide it. Amy, I have to ask, though, is that, like, an unforgivable thing for you? Um, <laughs> I don't want to say that it's unforgivable, but I think, <laughs> honestly, I think this was just, <laughs> and I'm laughing just because, like, as, as like, you know, open as to having your porn out, but it's also, like, just the names of the movie that was really weird, <laughs> too, because they were, like, all on... Wait, so you, you know, you, what you, porn in history wasn't named weird? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you actually. I guess I just didn't know that much. You know, it's just weird to see them. You know, I mean, I will give it to them. Everything was alphabetized, and it's a part of the very neat. Awesome. Yeah. Amy, Amy, what were some of the names? I'm just curious. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I don't remember all of them, but what, the one that like totally freaked me out because it's on a kids movie was a uh, chitty chitty bang bang and i was like <laughs> but on the side picture i was like that is not the one that yeah. i know you're like picking up you're like oh this is so sweet he's got like kids movies he likes disney that's not disney no um, no amy yeah now we would like to offer you a second date if you'll Wait, still go out if you'll go out with him let, again let, let me let me ask her amy amy i'm sorry i'm a normal guy <laughs> Let me take you out on another date. You'll come back, drink some tea at my place. There'll be no <laughs> if porn it, anyway. If it helps your decision, Amy, we'll pay for the date. Um. Well, you know, he's he's a really nice guy. That I'll, that I'll give him. And he didn't like you know like try to make any extra like extraordinary horny moves. So <laughs> I, I'd go out with him again. Yes. All right. Yeah, you guys Sweet. can watch porn together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're not paying for the movie rentals. Yeah. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.